the cerebral entertainment. And I think podcast. more than anything, podcast. from what I can see in here, is that there was a little bit of a reset. There was just enough time for people to sit back. And, and this is all thank you to COVID, you know, the pandemic and, and the ensuing lockdown. We had just enough time to sit back and think because, you know, most of the time we're, we're working 40 hours per week. We're, we're doing the hustle bustle. You, you, you work, you come home, you, you do your thing at the home, whether it's kids or, or, you know, your hobbies, whatever you're doing. And you wake up repeat. Everybody's working for the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. But the, we had a reset where we could sit back and say, you know what? I kind of like this for one thing. And, and, and I think I can find ways to do this more often or. I can see now that they need us more than a lot more than we need them, you know, and yeah, we need money. We, we got to survive and we still have to have a job, but guess what? You know, there's, there's a lot of jobs out there and I'm not saying they're all equal. Um, but I think that enough of that, you know, enough people had jobs where they were in the mundane, they were in the, um, the type of jobs where they could find another one at least, close to what they were making now and close to maybe even the job satisfaction. So if they didn't like one, they could go to the other or they could go to the other. Mm -hmm. And so in the job market right now, it's just what it seems um, is that the, the jobs need the employees more than, you know, than the vice versa. Not that people don't need jobs, but they can go and find another one. Right. So I guess my question is though, what, I mean, how does that, because I know that, that you are, are really big on, responsibility as you should be it's it's a it's a great trait to have but when it comes to that i mean how how like where's the line where do you draw the line if there's a job you know that the, the your employer has not seen your true value they really haven't like they don't at the end of the day at the end of the day they don't have your best interest at heart right and you know this and you finally come to this 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 realization right this epiphany that you know what I, I can be a more master of my own fate, you know, and I can start with this right here, this job, and I can go and I can, I can do a quick, a quit talk. Um, what's your feelings on that as far as from your perspective? Knowing your worth and your value is a very important thing. And, I, and this may be a discussion that we've had before, and I might say the same things that I've said before, but knowing your value and your worth is a very important thing, but also not having an arrogance about it and also not having um, like being too overconfident in your, like really being able to look at, at what you think you bring to the table for a company or for a business or whoever you work for. And knowing that, you know, just because you're not happy with the job doesn't mean you need to go make a quit talk right now. Like that's not how, that's not how this works, you know? Uh, but the other side of it is, is the business side. Like a lot of people are saying right now that businesses need to be worried about taking care of the people that they have that are their true employees that they've had for a, a long time who have been there day in and day out doing their job. They need to take care of those people before they start taking care of new people to bring in. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think that I think that's important. And I've seen places where people have been there for, you know, five years, don't really miss work, they're great employees, things like that. And all of a sudden, well, we're, we're, we're having trouble hiring people. So let's go ahead and raise the wage that we hire people in at, which kind of screws over the rest of the people in the in the place, right? Especially if you didn't raise their wage. Mm -hmm. And that's what, that's what gets me. Um, but that's where the whole thing comes in of, okay, do, are you really worth what you think you're worth to that company? You know, or do, will your skills translate to go somewhere else? Is it beneficial for you to do that? And are you in a financial position to be able to do that? Because that's the thing too, is this government money is going to go away at some point, right? So you still have to be able to survive.